YouTube. I'm just going to cover some real quick points to do with uh, Tesla Powerwalls and uh, put my ideas out there on the table uh, to see what everyone thinks. Right now, my shortfall is in these laptop batteries. My job uh, sometimes gets me around the various schools and places where I can collect these from recycling bins and from IT technicians. It's been quite dry recently. I've only managed to get six this summer holiday. Uh, which means um, there's no big projects on the cards. However, with the idea of actually starting the Tesla Powerwall, I'm going to need many of these. So I am actively on the hunt for a scrap supplier, and I'm willing to buy these at a scrap price uh, to get the project going. So um, I'm going to do a mock-up in the next week or so to show my ideas fully so you can see what I am planning to do. Uh, but there's several things that we need to cover, <coughs> uh, several things I want to see if other people have input in. Um, I'm going to mention several people's projects, but I'm not going to mention their names because I haven't written them down and I can't remember them. Um, right, so, sales first. We need to charge, discharge, uh, find out the capacities, we need to find out the internal resistance. We're going to charge them after we've finished all this and what we're going to do is we're going to leave them. Leave them to see if they self-discharge over time and then sort the good from the bad and keep the rest. There's going to be absolutely no way we're going to have a perfectly balanced pack unless we buy new cells, um, which is an idea, although very expensive. Uh, being this a sort of reduce, reuse, recycle project, there is not much scope for money being spent on this. So... Charge, discharge, uh, internal resistance, keep the good ones, throw the bad. I have chargers. I have recently built the large 16 cell charger uh, using the TP4056 boards. Uh, what I'm lacking is a decent means to discharge the cells. Um, I am looking into various devices and seeing what other people cart with. The Arduino idea. Uh, tickles me, but I have no experience with them, so I won't be undertaking that. Um, as I say, it's going to be a 12 volt pack for now, and then if we get enough cells, we're going to make it to 24 volt pack with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 cells in series. Um, buzz bars. Now, we all know, or we've all seen other people's videos where they've got 4 cells side by side. Um, Two buzz, wire, buzz wires, buzz bars going up between the uh, the first and second and third and fourth. Um, some are using flat copper, some are using uh, flat copper profile, some are using flat copper ribbon, um, recycled from old transformers. I've had a look inside a couple of large transformers and found the enameled wire, which can be stripped back. To enable the solder to adhere to it or flow onto it better but it's uh, it's a little bit too fiddly for me so I'm going to take another route using uh, something else that comes to me uh, a scrap and that is a uh, twin and earth cable um, twin and skin I think it's twin and earth in Australia, Australia and England it's uh, probably something like Romex in America uh, six mil can carry 30 amps quite comfortably um, and correlates to between American wire gauge 9 and 10. Uh, I think 10 is 5.2 millimeters squared and 9 is 6.6. .6. So we're going to use that, twist it. Well, I'm going to cut small bits of uh, the installation out and solder across with our fuse wire, or we're going to strip the whole length and do it that way. That way we'll have two lengths going up the side, giving us 12 mil of uh, surface area. And at the top, we're going to probably use something very similar, but also recycled, and that's going to be um, tails for fuse boards. This is just, a, I think it's a 16mm. Uh, that's double insulated. Do the same, strip it or, or just strip parts. Um, if this idea actually works and people like the idea, you can buy this stuff from wholesalers by the meter, so it is quite quite easy to get hold of. Same, same as Twin Earth. Oh, go to any electrical wholesale or DIY store you can buy this. Although DIY store is quite expensive. Fuse wire. 
uh, we're going to use uh, this stuff here. I've yet to test it, so there's going to be a few more videos in between. Um, test this fuse wire. Apparently, it's two to two point five amp, but uh, my experience and training with uh, old fuse wire is basically it can take twice its uh, um, rated current for a short period before it blows. Also, fuse wire suffers from fatigue, so after a while it won't have the same rating it used to. Um, so what I'm going to do is take my initial idea, mock this up into a small project, 12 volt, 3 cell series, no idea how many cells parallel, mock it up, do the buzz bars, do the wire despite not knowing what its capacity is and see what it comes out looking like, um, see what people think. I'll probably do uh, a long video, a very long video of the whole entire process and it's going to be a very talky, very slow video. This is going to be a very slow project because I've got to get uh, cells together and things and I want to do some research, let some other people, uh, I wouldn't say make some mistakes, but make some breakthroughs and uh, and go from there basically. Uh, so I think I've covered everything in here, so the main thing is uh, more cells and a decent discharger that I can trust that has the same reading across multiple devices kind of device thing. Yeah, and uh, yeah, take it from there. I think I'm all talked out now. Uh, so this is second take. They've dropped it down from 14 minutes down to seven, which is like a miracle. Must be talking like really fast. Yep, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mock it up, present it, and see what you think. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, comment and rate. It's getting late, I'm getting hungry, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.